Hello, <laughs> everyone, to the fucking Mandalorian Season 2, oh my god. There's probably season a few things two. we should talk about just before starting it, being hmm? it's really weird it took this long for the trailer to come out, and a lot of people have assumed it's because uh, there's, there's, there's concern over reshoots and retooling of the season, and they didn't, oh, they didn't okay. know what to put in the trailer because they didn't have a concrete idea on it or something. That's what I'd heard from a couple of people. Who knows what the actual case is? Let's just hope, you know. Not only is it a good trailer, but it's a good season. Uh, you, you guys, we all loved season one, right? It uh, was so <clears throat> good. Yeah, it was something. <laughs> it was... Uh, Our history is, we kind of liked season uh, episode one, we were okay with episode two, and then three was bad, and four was fucking four was awful. The and then the yeah. rest of the episodes were kind of following suit, and then a rewatch showed that, to be honest, the whole season is kind of a disaster. Yeah, kind of... The Ma Mandalorian season one's really bad, guys. It's really unfortunately, bad. Unfortunately, a lot of stuff doesn't cause... make any sense. The world building's actually really terrible. It's nonsensical. The protagonist is awful. There's <laughs> there's just so little that's good about it. But I think we were on its side because it's a cool concept. Yes. But... Yeah. And, and it was yeah. still enjoyable, is what I would I'd just be like. Yeah, I had fun. I guess. Good music. Yeah, yeah I like good the music. music. The good, actors um, doing doing great. Value. Yeah, yeah. Good production values, yeah. It closes out with the hook of he's gonna have to deliver Baby Yoda back to Baby Yoda Planet for season two, I guess. That's what happens at the end of season one, so. And Gus Fring is gonna come after him. Yeah, you'll be the, <laughs> the big bad. Oh yeah. boy. So I guess we're gonna be checking out the official trailer Disney Plus, Disney Original, Star Wars, The Mandalorian, season two. That's not good. You must reunite it with its own kind. Where? This you must determine. Tell of battles between Mandalore the Great and an order of sorcerers called Jedi. I hope we don't get that much Jedi stuff. Yeah, I want us to stay the fuck away from the Force. I don't think we will be, yeah. though. Especially with Baby Yoda powers. I feel like we're gonna be getting loads of shit in Season 2. Like, because Season 1 was the proof that people will watch it. Season 2 will be like, right. yeah, now we can shove all the things everyone loves in it. Mm. Expect me to search the galaxy and deliver this creature to a race of enemy sorcerers. No, I don't do that. I yeah, do don't. <laughs> yeah, maybe don't. Yeah, maybe that's a dumb thing. You this is spooky, do she disappeared, you're like, Ugh. Oh, my God. oh my God. All I could ever think of is Spider-Man 3. <laughs> Harry Osborn. Oh yeah, Harry Osborn disappeared. Dude, he, he hid under the table, it made sense. <laughs> 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 He's awkwardly down there. This is the way. You know, this yeah, is so no there's still place. a lot of Imperials left. Which doesn't surprise me at all. Yeah, I mean, well, they're gonna be chasing him, right? It only makes sense. Um, I'm so. We're just gonna further prove that they should have got after Baby Yoda themselves to begin with, but... <laughs> we had the X-Wings chasing him too, so Which... I guess... Yeah, the Republic are pretty oh, dodgy in this <laughs> show, so... As we as we know from Episode 7, the New Republic is shit. Uh, that was Episode 6, wasn't it? The one where they blew up the space station? No, it's Return even... of the Jedi. No, I... Oh, sorry, I meant in this Oh, in this, this... Yeah, this yeah. was the... That was Episode 6. <laughs> yeah, where they're just like, ah, kill the whole it's thing. It's like, guys, which guys. reference are you referring to for how shit they are? This too I was okay. talking about The Force Awakens. Mm. <laughs> so... I guess they're, they're bringing him in. He'll be evading both factions now. How crazy is that? I'm sure he is competent to do that. Oh, yeah. So I've heard. Um, it's best guy steal. You're all aiming it at his head. <laughs> yeah. Nasty. Why are you not? Why are you not aiming it at his neck? Also, where did he get a refill on those? I guess he did. We'll have to see. I guess he does. Um, yeah. but also, yeah, nobody. Do you know how easy it is to take his helmet off? Yeah, just pull it off. Or just there's no. There's the not even a strap. Just pull it off. <laughs> pull it off. They're shockingly not a strap. You'd think there'd be one if he's not allowed to take it off. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Seems like he just fall off. <laughs> So he kills everyone in there. Yeah, oh, I, obviously, because it's a montage cut, I don't, I don't exactly know what happened there. But it's just funny the whole room cleared out. I guess when he got it, yeah. people put guns on him. Just the way. Oh, oh I said the line. The meme. That's the meme. <laughs> the meme. The way's dumb. 
I guess that's it. Not very All much right. for a whole well, season. That was yeah. Well, it's eight episodes uh, again, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm, uh, I mean, it's just I, a trailer. I, I, I really, I really, really want to like this show. Like, I really do. I like Space Bounty Hunters, but like, ugh, I don't but know, the first one, one wasn't even like had any yeah. real actual <laughs> bounty hunting in it. No, it it doesn't. That's kind of the problem. It almost like wastes its high concepts. You, 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 you can even do like a monster of the week formula with like Mandalorian, but like we've already we've we've lost the bounty hunter angle because he's not hunting bounties anymore. Like that's not what he does. He's trying to find Baby Yoda's home. It's funny because you know you say like you can compare it to a video game. A lot of what happens in season one, but like a shitty video game. So it's like kind of cutscene. You get shot in your spaceship, and the cutscene you land, and then you talk to a trader who's like, "I can fix it for one thousand, you know, blubles." And then you're like, "Oh," and you go to the local area. You find a little poster that says one thousand blubles for for this person. You select it, and you join up with another bounty hunter in a cutscene who's like, "I want to do it too." And then you walk into the desert. Drive with a little speeder in a cutscene, probably. Then you have a shootout, and and you get the money and you go away. And and, and like, <laughs> it's it's just so like basic and lame. I don't know. Mm. And it, it and filler essentially. Uh, yeah, it kind of was. Well, four a episodes were was... filler, right? Like only only four of them were like directly plot. One, three, five no, was filler. Yeah, three... Six was filler. Two was yeah, filler. Was one, three, seven, and eight. Those were the important ones. Two, two was peak filler. It was my ship is broken. It is not now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, because I mean, we had to get was... our hook. Which happened you know, because... more than once. The ship breaking and then him repairing it by the end. What was episode five? Wasn't that that was his ship got? To... Yeah, that was the one episode. I was referencing with the the yeah. desert thing. That was now that was the whole one thing. Where you're right back where we started the beginning of the episode. It kind of looks like we're going bigger with this. I'm going to have all those actors have been confirmed, all those characters. Well, I hope that means that it's a little bit more, like, a eventful. It has a direction. Yeah, well, yeah, eventful would be good. Episodes have, like, a plot that contributes to an overarching sort of storyline that continues, or... That'd be nice. I yeah. I mean, my hopes are not high at all for this show because of how bad the first season was. But well, how well is possible when season one was so wonky? Um, I feel like it, I feel like you could still work with it pretty well. Yeah, I oh, think so yeah, too. Sure. Absolutely. I, I don't know that I, tr I. I guess that's what I mean. I'm not sure that I'm confident that they will. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm not sure. Either. We'll we'll be keeping a close eye on Mr. Mandalorian. I wonder if he'll be more competent this season. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I mean, he he needs to be if he's fighting all these guys now. The he's... New Republic and the Empire at the same time. Ooh. And all the bounty hunters coming for him. And man, can't imagine how he's gonna slip out of these. Sure, maybe. I mean, I don't know if he's gonna have the the same in, incredible plot armor that he had in the first season, where he's just magically saved. Um, well, hey man, they all aim for his armor. armor. Okay. Every time. Well, case in point, those three guys at the end pointed their helmets, at, their guns at his helmet <laughs> instead of like his neck or his arms or anywhere else. I just, I mean, the the, the bad guys in the first season were shockingly incompetent. It so, worked on I mean, Phasma. Why break with tradition? Remember when they put the gun to Phasma's helmet and she was she did whatever they wanted? So maybe that's just yeah, how it works. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> Star Wars, man. <laughs> <laughs> You could be right. so great, and you choose to be poopy. You think of uh, this the season one, it has a whole bunch of single episode actors and stuff, but none of it, like, I don't know, like, like that's what I just assume season two is doing, but with all these special guests, because now there's more money and more hype and more everything. So we probably will have an episode for Boba Fett. Or do you, I mean, they could just have it so that he turns up, just like, oh, look, and then he goes away. All right, I I think um, the disappearing lady is meant to be Ahsoka. I just couldn't tell at all. Oh, okay. Maybe, Maybe yeah. Um, wow, because she had orangey skin. Maybe they're going to have a... Because um, Boba Fett's not a real Mandalorian. Uh, no. So maybe they're going to have that back and forth about, oh, you know, you're know, you dishonoring our heritage, your shitty fucking heritage, and our like, shitty fucking rules. And... 
<laughs> and he's like, I don't give a shit. They're dumb. I'm not going to follow them. And he'd be right. Oh, dude, I'd love that. If he was like, you removed your helmet before, and he'd be like, so? So? I don't give a shit. So what? Like, actually, so what? Yeah, it's a stupid rule. Um, like, you wouldn't take your helmet off, and you almost died because of it, but you took it off for lunch in the middle of a village. So don't lecture um, me. Isn't that Carl lady? Like, she's in trouble? <laughs> Oh, on Twitter and stuff, yeah, but I'm sure she'll be fine this season. Next season is what she should worry about. Michael Bean's gonna be an episode baddie bounty hunter who'll get killed at the end because he's shit. I guarantee it. Yeah. He does something extremely stupid. Shockingly. Beyond all reason. Because as much as Boba Fett fell in the Sarlacc pit, Star Wars as like a property knows people want to see him back. Um, I don't, but <laughs> like, we will. Well... Here's the funny thing, right? Do you guys remember 1313? Star Wars 1313, the game? Yeah. Yeah. Project, so, yeah. as the story goes, when they were actually making the game, um, it was meant to be brand new character, brand new story, totally unrelated. Um, two months before they showed it at E3 2012, um, George Lucas was like, uh, making Boba Fett. Um, and you don't get to like disagree with George Lucas when he says that, so they had to change the game to make it a Boba Fett game. Um, and I don't know how I feel about that. Not great. Um, but prequel era Boba Fett, I'm cool with that, you know? Like, well, not prequel era, but like middle era. That'd be kind well, of Well, like cool, a, but... a teenage Boba Fett or something. Yeah, like young adult, really young Boba Fett on a big adventure, which I think I'm cool with. But like, I'm only cool with Boba Fett stuff before he dies. Like, just, he, he's dead. You know, I'm happy with that. Like, nah, fans didn't really, like his death, so he's not dead at all. I don't care. I really, I don't, I don't trust care. him to do it. Right, that's a thing. I just, I don't. Yeah. Um. Uh, Star Wars, man, it's like fucking bad <laughs> now. I mean, as a whole, we. I was gonna say the three of us are probably the most pessimistic about season two on the fucking planet. Probably, yeah. Because a lot of people think it's good. It's good, guys. No. It's, it's not. It's really, it's really not. It should it's be really way terrible. better. It should be way better. I was, like I said, I, I really want some good Space Bounty Hunter content, but I'm going to have to keep waiting till like, Metroid Prime 4 comes out. Because <laughs> nothing else is going to do it. You know this, um, this shot here? Uh, I don't know why. It's coming across as cheaper to me. I think it's the the costumes is what's getting to me. I don't know if they they're the exact same as season one. I'd have to look. Yeah, I think it's that's it. Satisfying. Yeah, it's very colorful for what is meant to be bounty hunters living rough. Yeah, uh, like it should be more grungy and washed also, out. And, um, he seems more like leadery now than than fightery. He looks like it. Yeah, he looks like a politician almost, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. I assume they weren't going to be back again. Like that was the end for their story for that season, and then that was it. But I guess I want to keep him around. Let's play that moment again, okay? It's important that I see it again. You must reunite it with its own kind. Where? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the Banther is the protag. <laughs> He's gonna be delivering Baby Yoda. The Banthalorian. <laughs> the Banth. Banthalorian. <laughs> <laughs> they like that. Maybe we'll uh, get some more we'll cute your Baby Yoda moments. That'll be something, right? Oh yeah, that's why that's why you watch, um, right? Because yeah. of fucking Baby Yoda. We're not cynical at all. We're so excited. No, it's great. <laughs> I love it. Yay! Woohoo! Um, next month, right? That's when this is coming out. October thirtieth. Yeah. yeah. Grief Kaga with his beard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, he is older now. True. Yeah, and Gina Carano and and, and our full team will be back, killing people once again. It's gonna be great. I wonder, isn't yeah. he gonna have? Don't they have like jobs to do? Especially Grief Karga. Doesn't he have like a guild to run? A galactic-wide well, guild of which there's only one, apparently. I'm sure that I'm sure that that will be acknowledged, Rags. I'm sure. Yeah, that it'll that be, will fine. be relevant. <laughs> oh, I I got a I got a guy to take over for that now. It's all good. Yeah. And it'll be funny because it. it's like I got a job to do. You guys gonna stay here? Okay. And then I wonder how much in-universe time goes by before he comes back. Like I need help. They're like, yeah, yeah, not a surprise. Uh, you often yeah. do. You get everyone you meet killed. <laughs> it's like, it's fine as long as you're okay. I wonder if there'll be an expiration date on uh, Grief Kaga or uh, hmm. Gina. I wonder if any of them will get murderized in the finale. 
I don't know. Who knows? And I don't really care. <laughs> I guess it'll depend on how they do it. I hope it's good. What else can you say? Well, that's that. Month time. Yeah, so much TV. Out. It's been TV land this this past month ish yeah, for me. The boys, this. Yeah. <sighs> Mandalorian. All right. Hope it's good. Uh, yeah. 